So here is a visualization of the sequencing of my leukemia genome. This is just a summary of the mutations that are actually in my leukemia uh, cells. And this is kind of the first roadmap uh, that, that we can then uh, dive down deeper and then look at some more specific changes. My name is Lucas Wortman. I'm a young oncologist who works at Washington University. I was first diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia during medical school. I was treated here in 2003 uh, with standard chemotherapy and the leukemia immediately went into remission, was doing well and felt really well. And then towards the end of uh, that year, again, started uh, feeling poorly. That was back in 2008. And so I had, had suspected now that maybe the leukemia had come back, and unfortunately it did. So that was my first relapse, and obviously it was a difficult time. I moved forward with uh, high-dose chemotherapy again and did well with that. The leukemia went into remission. I subsequently then uh, had a stem cell transplant. The transplant itself was tough, but I made it through it. It was feeling pretty good again and was able to start doing leukemia research, which was what I was really interested in doing. There was a professor at WashU really interested in the genetics of leukemia. It just was a very natural extension of my life to be able to join his laboratory. And unfortunately, during my last year of fellowship, uh, again, um, started feeling a little bit more run down. It, it happened more suddenly this time. This past July was diagnosed again with uh, relapsed leukemia. Was admitted into the hospital and started on very strong chemotherapy. Unfortunately though, uh, the leukemia didn't go into remission after being treated with this very high dose chemotherapy. There were no real promising treatments on the horizon and so um, things looked rather bleak. But at the same time as I was being treated, uh, my leukemia genome uh, was being sequenced by the Genome Institute uh, here at Washington University School of Medicine. We got back the sequencing results, which showed that there were promising targets that weren't even in the scope of uh, our standard treatment protocols for this type of leukemia. Because of those results, I was able to start less aggressive chemotherapy that I could tolerate, and then targeted therapy that had been approved for actually renal cell or kidney cancer. Within a few days, my blood counts improved, and within a few weeks, my leukemia was in remission. So it was really uh, going from a situation that looked really bleak to now a situation where there was hope again. I really can't overstate the importance of, of those discoveries that, that really were driven out of the research lab, but made their way in just a matter of weeks from the research lab to helping me as a patient. After being on this drug for only two weeks, I had gone into complete remission. Whereas two weeks earlier, I had had a bone marrow biopsy that showed uh, you know, clearly that I had leukemia. Someone diagnosed with my type of leukemia uh, five, ten years ago, two years ago, would have been treated with standard chemotherapy drugs that were not targeted towards specific mutations or changes in their leukemic cells. With the new technology that we have today that's really advanced in just the past few years, uh, we're now able to decipher these very small changes that are present in my tumor genome, which may look completely different than someone else's. And really, changes in my tumor genome that were, that were unique are, are what led to changes in my treatment. I know that uh, without being treated here that I wouldn't have had my cancer genome sequenced and without being treated here that I wouldn't have been placed on this targeted therapy. And I really believe that without being treated at Siteman, 
that I wouldn't have gone into remission and then I wouldn't be here today. I mean, it's beyond exciting. It's, it's just, it's extraordinary.